Okay. Okay, Nick. So tell me about your friend. Well, like I said, him and I have been friends for over a decade. We've been best friends. We used to work together at my job. And every Christmas, we would save up the tips we would get from our clients, our, the, the residents who live there. And we would go out and have a big lunch. It was our right before Christmas break. We'd go out, like spend a whole lot of like time and food, like get a whole bunch of food. And it was awesome. And we did this for four years straight. He left the company. We still did it. Even when he was at his old company, it was a tradition for us. And then the next year I left the same company. So we we're both working at two different places and yet we still came together. So every single year, um, we did it. This past year, this, like he totally like bailed on me in a sense. Like he could have done it, but he felt bad leaving his job. And I'm, I, I, I left my job at noon because I was going to take the rest of the day off. We were just going to hang out and have a good time. Mm -hmm. And he didn't take off. And then okay. when he finally got off at 3.30, mm -hmm. he, was, he was saying how um, he invited my other friend, too. It's just like it's, only, it's, it's always been us. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just really frustrated with him right now. So um, let me back up a little bit. You said... And he bailed on you. Yeah. So, what do you mean by... Well, maybe it's not necessarily a bail. Mm -hmm. It's he promised something to me that we were going to meet at noon. We were going to go out to lunch. Mm -hmm. And he didn't come. He didn't leave his job. So, I'm sitting around waiting for three hours for him. So, you're... Yes, and I... Did y'all have an agreement? Oh, yeah. Um, yo, we agreed. We planned it months, well, years, basically, because it's a holiday tradition for us. So while you were sitting there waiting, tell me how you were feeling. Oh, I was mad. I was real mad. I was so furious. I was saying words that did not become me. It was, it was, it was, I was very frustrated with them. Very frustrated. So... How was that going to affect your relationship with him? Oh, I yelled at him when I saw him. Okay. Well, I ignored him at first. Oh, okay. And then when I saw him, I was kind of passive aggressive, and then I just got flat out aggressive with him. Oh, so you played the cold shoulder for a minute. Right? Oh yeah, in the beginning, <laughs> for sure. So when you were when you were responding back to him like that, what were you feeling then? Oh, I was feeling mad. Even when you were giving him the coach. So oh yeah, I was I was really mad. So So did he respond to you? Yeah, he he felt slighted. I know he felt slighted in it and he didn't think it was that big of a deal. To me it was a big deal. So that made me even more hurt and that's when I got more aggressive with him in it and called him out on it. So So when you say hurt, what do you mean by hurt? Because you said you were angry. Yeah. You know. I, I felt hurt in, in the sense that I thought I was more of a value to him, mm -hmm. a more of a priority. Because this is something, this is an event that I look forward to all year. I'm not thinking about it all year, but when the time comes, I'm excited for it. I get to hang out with my best friend. And it's a tradition. It's a fun thing that we do. And apparently he doesn't feel the same. Way. So what happened to change that? I, I don't know. I uh, Maybe he felt guilty for leaving his job because he started a new job at that time. And maybe he just, he, that's what he said. He felt bad about like leaving when nobody else was leaving. So he kind of gave you an explanation. He did, yeah. But I know he could have left and it wouldn't be a big deal. Oh, okay. But he gave you an explanation, though. He did, and yeah. So, but it, was it a good explanation? I don't think so. Okay. No. Well, he gave you an explanation, but then you decided, I guess, maybe, well, I, mean, I gotta receive it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we, we worked it out in the end of it. We're trying to talk about it. and I mean, I have to forgive him, I guess. So, so how are you feeling about that? 
Um, okay. Because things are okay now. But I'm still mad about it. But I forgave him. But it's one of those things that I don't know what's going to happen next year. At this so time. you're kind of thinking um, you're a little leery now. So yeah, I, like I don't trust him. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. You feel like you lost some trust there? Absolutely. Is that what that yeah. means? So, and you shared that with him as well? <clears throat> yeah, it's actually something that I've expressed multiple times to him. Because he's, he's done it before. Oh, so this happened before. Yeah, not in this situation. But okay, there's this is a other different, yeah. but kind of similar oh, kind yeah. of thing that went down. Yep. So you're just, I'm hearing you say that he should have known better pretty much. Oh, yeah, he should have. Because, known. like, you know, you're saying that he's done something like this before. And yeah. He should have known better. He should have known better. Because I didn't want to put yeah. words in your mouth there, but. That's what I sound like I'm starting to hear. Yeah, because because we we've been in situations like this before, like um, when he used to live half an hour from me, mm -hmm. and I wasn't married at the time, and I basically just did whatever I want whenever I wanted to. Um, I would go to his house three, four, five days a week and hang out with him, and we would have fun, and, and it was awesome. Well, there has been a couple times where he invited me over. I hop in my car, I drive half an hour to his house, and he's not there. I'm like, where is he? And then I talk to his wife, and, oh, he just went golfing with so-and-so. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Oh, he's playing softball with so-and-so. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He literally invited me. And he forgot about it. He oh forgot that he invited me over and went out to go do something more fun, I guess. Okay, so what I'm hearing you say is that you guys have a history of this kind of uh, relationship banter activity that's happening between you two where um, he, you're supposed well, to get together and you're thinking you're getting together and he knows I know and we've got this plan and then boom he doesn't show up or yeah so it's like it a you. repeated offense and I don't know what to do about it like I'm just so frustrated at my friend like I forgive him every time but it's a pattern that like I don't know how to address with them. Well, I want to ask you, do you feel offended? Oh, yeah. By that by the behavior? Yeah. Because so, who, who does that multiple times? And I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should have a more serious sit down with him and talk to him about this and explain where I'm at. Or I should break away from him and totally leave him alone or just keep my distance and weary. Like, I'm confused over that. So, can you tell me um, what you think that you could do differently for yourself to be able to, you know, since you know you have a little history of this happening, and um, have you thought about, what you know, I could do what can I do for so in, in what in, way? In, so that you won't, because obviously y'all still friends. Right? Yeah. So, if you're going to stay friends, and he's a pretty good friend to you, obviously he means something to you. And um, I was just wondering, how is this affecting the relationship? It's, you know? it's hurting. So, are you just going to leave it that way? Or and that's what I'm trying it? to figure out. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I should address this with him, should talk to him about it, mm -hmm. or if I should just keep my distance and not confront it. Because mm -hmm. he just might always be this way. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at what you just said. You said you're not so sure if you should just leave it alone or if you should just continue to let yeah. or do something different. Yeah. Have you thought about anything you could do different that can make it make you feel better at least? Uh, to me the two the two options are to either confront him or mm -hmm. to ignore it. Okay. And I'm leaning more towards the ignore it because... Yeah, because then you say, okay. um, if I'm not mistaken, then you say you confronted him about it. Yeah. And smallly. It, yeah. Smallly. I mean, I was aggressive. When you say smallly. Aggressive, <laughs> I guess. It's not small. It's not small. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, okay, tell me about how aggressive could be small. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a good <laughs> distinction. Yeah. I, I, guess, I guess we just, we move past it, but in the back of my mind, mm. I am still bitter about it, really? resentful about it. Tell me how you see your relationship then as y'all, you know, going up the road. Because that's obvious you want to stay in 
as yeah, a friend. Yeah, I mean, he's a great guy. He's awesome. Um, it's just when I feel disrespected and not valued. <laughs> um, do you, has he shared with you how he feels about what has happened? Like when you said you Oh, he just tells me I need to get over it. That it wasn't personal, I just need to get over it. And that's the end of that's the end he said. Yeah. Okay, well, it's like the balls in your court, there, right? Well, and that's where it is. So do I continue to talk to him about this? Or do I leave it alone? And to me, it seems like he doesn't want to engage about it. Okay. And then when I have been aggressive with him, it just makes us argue and fight. We both think the other person's wrong. So I just want to avoid it. And I, I understand. I can, I can see how it's really important to you, you know, for friendships. Were there any other friendships or incidents that may have went like that? Because, I mean, you seem to be very sensitive about it. It's important to you. And, and that's great, you know, that you care about your friendship. So, but he's treating it like... Yeah. You know? No, I haven't really had any other relationships like this. I don't really typically hang out with people who do that type of stuff. Yeah. Like, I choose my friends pretty carefully. Mm -hmm. So when you say pretty carefully, what does that look like? What kind of friend is that? Uh, loyalty, um, humor, mm -hmm. um, worldview, beliefs, mm -hmm. um, kind-heartedness, compassion, yeah. um, confidence. Yeah, probably having a good time, like you said. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, um, I, I would just was wondering what could you do to help yourself feel better about maintaining the relationship? That's it. I don't say okay. we did it. Good job, Cece. Oh, okay. At counseling me. I'll be told. Oh, 